Oh God, we thank you, certainly for bringing us to where we are. We pray that we are able to stand before your people this day, Lord, and be able to share the word that you have given to us. And that is certainly meet them where they are. And that is certainly help them, oh Lord, even if there's something ahead. So God, bless them, help us all this day, use us, and we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And those that may have your Bibles, we'd like to invite your attention to the book of James, chapter 1. And we're going to look at three familiar verses there, 2, 3, and 4. James, chapter 1. Amen. Amen. James, the first chapter, begin in verse 2, and we will end together in verse 4. Let us go forth, my brother, and have it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience, but that patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'd just like to talk about one word here. Win. Amen. Win. Amen. It's right there in the text. All right, verse 2 there. That, that word right in the middle of win. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they said W H E Z. Yes, sir. Amen. So, so think about it as we look at this today. Brothers and sisters, I'm always grateful uh, for the direction of the Spirit because I have been preaching. A significant number of years and never was afraid to go look at a passage again. Because it's just not me who is the preacher. It's actually the spirit who knows the need of the hero. Amen. And so as we look at this scripture before us, uh, it is certainly quite familiar with many saints. Right, James, uh, who is the certain name writer for the book, he introduces himself quickly in verse 1, and then he greets the 12 tribes that were scattered abroad. But quickly, and, and this is what gets my attention, is how quickly he says to them, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. And that's right in verse 2, right quickly. Uh, James is going somewhere. Because it's interesting, his first directive is to consider it joy. The word count, he says, consider it joy. Which is not, uh, as they say, our response to the trials we face. Because our normal reaction is not to be happy. Amen. Because most of the time we are disturbed or upset by trials. And they are not what we look forward to going through because if I would just scratch the surface today, there's many of us that would certainly tell me, tell me very clearly that Pastor, no, I don't want to go through no temptations, no trials, no struggles. And so, so that would be the natural reaction. And, and so one thing that we got to look, uh, life, would be easy without them, wouldn't it? It, it? it would be so easy to live a life that's free of pain, free of, free of struggle, Amen. free of trials. Amen. But every life, and, and take this person now, has its own share of trials. And what James is sharing, and, and I pray we look at it this way, is encouraging. Because it helps us to look at what he says with a different outlook. Because instead of asking why, we ought to look closely at the word win. Amen. You know, it is an indication of the various temptations that James speaks of in verse 2. Mm -hmm. But listen, win is one word in the scripture that tells us the trials and temptations don't happen all the time. Yeah. So think of what about the word win. It, it, it indicates at that time. In the case that you are there. And so the word win is certainly 
an indication to us that we know something is going on in our lives. And I don't think I have to tell you there's something going on in your life. Uh, I just believe you're going to know yourself. You know that, listen, when is he? Because uh, if it happens, we, you know, I told how to react to it. And that's that's the thing that I'm, I, I'm marveling at James in this text that James is trying to help us. Because James doesn't say if you fall into diverse temptations, but we. And, and, and I like this. He assumes that we will have temptations. And, and if there's anybody in here that think you don't, or think that you won't, then I'm going to remind you right now, it's going to come. Because that's why the word win is mentioned, because at any time in our lives, and, and here's the untimeliness about it, temptations can come. That's right. Just listen, right now, all of us could be on such a high and the low, and then immediately stepping out of here. Something, yes, wind can happen. And, 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 and my thing is, is how are you going to handle the wind? And then, not only that, what is going to be your reaction to wind? Uh, this assumption, and, and I like this because it seems like it's an assumption that James addresses, you know, saying that nobody is exempt from temptations. But that word divers is very interesting because it indicates variance. It ain't just one temptation. You, you can have an assortment of these temptations. And that word temptation is to be understood as trials that will come. And, and, and they are bound to appear in our lives. We just don't know when they will appear. The when is what James referred to when you fall into these diamonds temptation. Because what do you do? What do you do? Now there is a win in somebody's life right now who's listening to me. You ain't told me about it. You probably ain't even mentioned it to God just yet. But I'm sure that the gravity of it is going to, at some point, want you to talk about it to someone, and, and I pray that the first one is God. Because James' advice is, is this. Don't ignore it. Oh, that's a good way out. But be prepared to what? Face it. And the question that is, why is it necessary? Because if God has allowed this, why is it necessary? Because listen, as a child of God, and, 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 and stay with me right now, aren't we supposed to have life? and have it more abundantly. Yeah. Didn't Jesus say that? Yeah. He said that what I come, that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And, and there's some believers that's hanging out there because they thought Jesus said that's the way it's going to always be. Mm -hmm. Which says to us that our lives would be what less problematic. And so, so, so to make it more plain, they should be what? A little easy. That's what we thought. And I just put it that's that quickly. That's what you and I thought. But God has a purpose for the wind that will come in our lives. Because remember, there is a time for every purpose under the heaven. And trials and temptations are included as well. But the wind I look at is the challenge. Yes, when that thing surfaces. That, that's the challenge. How am I going to react? Am I going to trust God as being who he says he is? Because in the text, and not to confuse anyone, we, we, that word temptation, some will think that it's those other things that come to take us away. But this is truly a reference to trials that you and I have to face. Now look, when believers are faced with them, they are there as a test of our faith. Yeah. And, and anybody realize today that God will test his children? Yeah. Or are you just thinking that, well, that ain't going to come from God. It had to be from that other fellow. But, but I know the devil has his tricks and his devices at work. But at times, God will allow us to be tested. 
Because I, I, I just wonder sometimes, why do, can we confess faith, but won't let faith be tried? Yeah, we, we're good people when they talk about, yeah, I got faith, but, but let a test come. And let's see how much your faith will stand. And, that, and that's why we got to look at this from the perspective that God will allow some things to come. But he's doing it to increase our faith. And not only increase our faith, but to grow us in our faith. So when they come, we got to realize that this is just a work of God. Because if Abraham could talk to you today, he'll tell you his own story. God to let me wait, listen, wait a hundred years to get a son. And, and that same God who I consider to be my God and my friend would tell me, sacrifice your son back to me. Yeah. But you look at the text closely in Genesis there, you'll see that God was trying his servant. Yeah. Amen. And don't you know God needs to try us at times to see will we go all the way? to see what his plan was. And so, yeah. so Abraham, if you knew how that story ended, you know that God provided himself yeah. a sacrifice. Yeah. And, and even as far as laying that boy out over the altar and drawing that hand back with that yeah. knife, God came in quickly yes, to give, listen, this, Abraham a testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, that God is Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. That he what is the Lord that provides. Yeah. And, 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 and I believe y'all understand that yes, God will let wind come in our life, but but first of all, you got to do this. You got to receive the wind with some joy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, James, because listen to how James says, my brother, and this is not leaving no females out, but all of us yeah. count it on joy. Yeah. Amen. You got to receive it. You got to understand, he says this, when you fall into Diverse temptations. Now, I don't know if you want to receive it like that, but James' uh, advice to us is that you got to receive it with joy when wind shows up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Because these negative experiences are to be accepted with great joy. Yeah. Amen. Not for the sake of the trial itself, but because of the positive work God can accomplish through that testing. And do you not realize that God has a perfect way yes, of doing something through our trials? Yes, Amen. You can't see it right now because he wants you to go through it. He wants you to experience when it happened. And, and then not only that, he wants you to be a recipient of joy with it. Thank you, James, because James may have sound strange to some people. How can I count it on joy when my life is in chaos, when my life is in confusion, when I can't pay my bills, when I'm getting shut off notice, when I'm sick and when I'm hushed. How can I count it on joy? And you have the nerve to say to me that when I fall into these things, listen, James is showing us something that you can have joy yeah. in the midst of what you go through. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You heard it said, after all I've been through, yeah. somebody ought to be there. I still yeah. 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 have joy. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but you, in order to understand that and believe it, you had to have experienced yeah. this for yourself. I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about no early Convert. I'm talking about somebody seasoned yeah. in the Lord. If you season in the Lord, you done been through some things. Yeah. You done learned from your trials. Yeah. Then I can still trust the Lord. And, yeah. and I can still find joy in the midst of what I'm going through. Because I got to look at it on the other side. I got a God who's still there. Yeah. I think many times we think God has left there, left us all by ourselves. Listen, we on the island that's deserted. It's only I, me, me there, and God's nowhere. But God want to let you understand that I'm still in the midst of this. And, and listen, you got to realize that I got to receive this with joy. Because I understand, James, that you're helping us, you're encouraging us not to be down about it, not to be troubled by it, not to be worried about it, not to be hopeless, but understand that God wants me to have joy 
in the midst of what I'm going through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when it shows up, amen, and, and when it shows up, I need to have a better attitude. Oh, yeah. Amen. I need to be joyful. Yeah. And let me say this, that God counted me worthy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Can I say that again? Yeah. That God counted me worthy yeah. to be put in this text. Yeah. Uh, many of y'all realize that there's sometimes God puts us in these things yes. that we can recognize it's the hand of God. And, and Job will tell you this, that though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Yes. And Job realized that, yes, I've been through some things, but my God was still there. Yes. Yes. Amen. For me to recognize it. So, so receive it with joy. But then secondly, realize the reason for the wind. Amen. It's right there in verse 3 because now that you have got joyful about it, now verse 3 brings to the knowledge that this just is the trying of your faith, which is really producing patience. And some of us don't understand that the patience that the scriptures speak of talks about perseverance. You need patience to stand the storms, to confront the mountains. To go through the trials. And, and, and it seemed like James just had this assumption that y'all ought to know this already. <laughs> then, it, then it sound like James was saying that in verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith working patience. The testing of your faith is producing patience. And, and anybody here realize that if God wants to test me, that God is doing something to help me grow. Amen. I can't figure out why I'm in it right now, but if I trust God in the midst of it, then I still ought to realize that he's going to produce something. Yes. Listen, when it's all said and done, and, and I pray that what he produces is more patience. Yes. Amen. You don't realize you need patience on this journey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. It ain't given to the swift. Nor to the strong, but it's to those who what will endure to the end. And and listen, endurance is about patience. And so you got to realize the reason for the win has been put there, Amen, to test your faith, Amen, that it will ultimately produce something that's going to be a blessing in return. And I'm glad that God know how to set us up. Oh yeah, see, God, God didn't ask you, can I? Amen. Put you in this. And, and you got to understand, God knows you and I better than we know ourselves. Some of us give up before we go through. When God puts you in it purposely, that you can see Him more better. I told you last week that we need to have a vertical view. We need to keep looking up. Yeah. We're too yeah. horizontal where we yeah. more focus on what's behind us, yeah. left or right of us, yeah. or in front of We need to still look up. Because yeah. when you look up, you realize what, where your help. So I thank God that he knows what's best. And I believe that's all it is. God knows what's best for us. And, and so if we got to show up, I got to let we know that I got joy. I got to let we know that I know what it's up to. And that's why you got to realize the reason for the win. But finally, you got to understand that when it's all said and done, let the win fulfill this purpose. Yeah. Yes, it, it's right all in the text because, listen, he says, but let patience, there it is, have her perfect work. And, yeah. and do anybody know that patience can perfect you? Yeah. It can mature you. Yeah. It, it can make you, as the scriptures say, perfect and entire. And I like this part. Want nothing. God don't want you to always be lusty and act, and act like you are. You need to know what you need. Many times we confuse the needs and wants. And we all know that needs have been designed to bless our life. And, and, and wanting is just being selfish at times. I see what Brother Miller got, so I want it. Bless it. Sister Riddle got it. I want it. God said you ought to be in a position of wanting nothing because patience doesn't come in. And what did it do? It satisfied you. It made you content. It had you at a place now that I got to worry about what he or she got. The same God that blesses them, I'm in line to get my blessing. 
I pray you hear me right there. You, listen, you must don't know the same God that blesses him or her well. is also going to bless you. Yes. And I just believe what we like to say, he got a blessing with our name. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's foolish enough to believe that because yeah. the God we serve has a blessing for every person in this house right now. Yeah. And, yeah. and that blessing is just designed for you. Yeah. And that's why it's good that when we go through the winds in our life, yeah. that God is just letting us understand we gonna survive it. Yeah. Now somebody feels that they're not gonna make it. But the God we serve is a God who wants to prove to you that you can stand your storm. Yeah. In fact, I believe you've been prepared for that wind. Yeah. Listen, you conditioned for that wind. Yeah. You're ready to face that win. And yeah, yeah. you can do it with this perspective. I'm going to count it all, oh, Joe. Yeah. Listen, when I fall into diverse temptations, yeah. it's just good to know that when it shows up, yeah. I can still count it, Joe. Yeah. Don't that sound good? That yeah. in spite of what we, listen, what, what we ever been through, that God can still give us joy. Yeah. Listen, when those things surface in our life. And I got to remind somebody that it's going to come at its time. Listen, at a time you least expect it. It's going to come in some shape or some form or some fashion. But I wonder when it comes, what are you going to do? Listen, can you count it all, Joe? Can you know it's a trying of your faith? Can you understand that patience is going to do something in your behalf? That's when you realize that it's the will of God that these things should be so. But I wonder, brothers and sisters, can we take what James has said? Can we believe in our heart that it's going to happen at some point? Yeah. Or if I can just say this, it's going to already come and go. Yeah. But guess what? It's going to come again. Oh, yeah. But did you learn from the last time oh, yeah. how to handle that particular yeah. wind? Yeah. Or did you let it crush your spirit? Yeah. Or let, you, let it weaken your faith? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brothers and sisters, let's look at it from the Lord's side. Uh, yeah. He wants us to have joy. Yeah. Listen, whatever we're going through, oh, yeah. whether it's good or bad, yeah. whether it's bitter or sweet, yeah. God wants us to still yeah. have joy. Yeah. I believe that's why Paul put it this way, uh, that whatever state I find myself in, uh, yeah. there we to be content. Uh, yeah. Paul talked about both sides of the equation. Yeah. Uh, I done had and I had not. Yeah, yeah. I've been up and I've been down. Yeah, yeah. I've been out and I've been in. Yeah, yeah. But no matter what condition I was in, yeah. I, I realize I can still count it all joy. Yeah. Yeah. The reason I can count it all joy yeah, is the God that you and I know. Yeah. Yeah. And if you know that God, yeah. Yeah. you know he's an angel yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. You know he's a God that promises. Yeah. Yeah. He will take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody glad today? Yeah. Uh, I want you to not be afraid. Uh, listen, when wind shows up, uh, do this. Welcome it to come. Uh, because you got a reason now. Uh, just to count it all joy. Uh, because it's going to be proof of the trial. Uh, that you aren't afraid to face it. Uh, it's going to show to somebody uh, that brother or sister uh, were able to go through this uh, and let it not weaken yeah, yeah, their faith, uh, yeah. nor cloud their minds yeah. uh, about who their God is. Uh, yeah. My brothers and my sisters, uh, I hope you hear me today. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bound to happen, uh, yeah. but when it comes up, uh, what is your response? Uh, yeah. Are you going to rejoice in the Lord? Uh, yeah. Paul did say that. Uh, he said rejoice in the Lord. Uh, yeah. And again I say rejoice. Uh, why would he say that? Uh, he realized uh, the God he served uh, was a God who's present. Uh, even when I can't trace him, uh, I realize he's present. Uh, I realize 
Uh, I'm still in his hands. Uh, and I wonder today, uh, is there anybody here uh, still realize uh, that you're in the master's hands? Uh, and if you're in his hands, uh, you are in hands of security, uh, hands of provision, uh, hands of promise. Uh, I thought you ought to know. Uh, invited to come up uh, because when is going to show up uh, like an unexpected guest uh, when is going to show up uh, like a stranger uh, when is going to show up uh, like somebody you don't want to meet uh, but when it does uh, you need to count it all to uh, knowing something uh, it's just the testing uh, of my little faith uh, because God thought it necessary uh, to put me in this trial uh, he thought it necessary uh, to let the devil witness uh, that that's one of my children. Uh, I know them enough uh, to put them in uh, and let them survive. Uh, everybody here uh, can say this right now. Uh, I'm a survivor. Uh, God brought me through. Uh, I'm a survivor. Uh, he took care of me. Uh, I'm a survivor. Uh, I don't overcome. Uh, anybody here uh, Realize today uh, that our God we serve uh, is on our side. Uh, anybody believe uh, you can trust him? Uh, anybody believe uh, you can call on him? Uh, anybody believe uh, he'll show up? Uh, what he do? Uh, anybody tried him uh, for yourself? Uh, anybody found out that, that God will uh, take care of you? Uh, God will uh, make a way. God will uh, provide you need. Uh, God will uh, lift you up, uh, turn you around, uh, place your feet up uh, on solid ground. Uh, what we do, uh, ain't we all right? Uh, I am convinced uh, there's none like him. Uh, none uh, who knows us. Uh, none uh, who puts up with us. Uh, none uh, who would love us. Uh, none uh, who can forgive us. Uh, none uh, like the love. Uh, anybody here uh, know him? Uh, anybody here uh, tried him? Uh, anybody here uh, found out? Uh, ain't nobody uh, do me like the love. Uh, have got a witness uh, around here? Uh, anybody uh, know without a doubt uh, that God is uh, a long time Sometimes uh, the troubles uh, seem to weigh us down. Uh, sometimes uh, the trials uh, get hard to endure. Uh, but God uh, will show up. Uh, God uh, will give peace uh, in the midst of the storm. Uh, what we do it? Uh, yes, uh, and we all right now. Yes, let me in. You ought to do this. I got something for we. Yeah, I, I got joy that God can give me. I got the knowledge that it's only a test. And then I got this belief that it's when it's all said and done, I've been made perfect. Won't nothing. Yes, God will do it. I don't know about you. I am convinced that God knows I struggle. I know, I know, I know somebody saying he don't know. He knows what you're going through. But can you trust him long enough to see his salvation? Because it's coming. His deliverance is on the way. Amen. If you trust him with your whole heart, you'll find out it was only a test. It was only a test. Take that with you. It was only a test. That wind showed up, and the wind didn't know that. I knew it was a test. You thought you had me, but I knew it was a test. You thought you was going to conquer me, but I knew it was a test. It was just a trying of my faith. And I'm glad every now and then God needs to test us. Amen. Just to see if we're going to make it. So God bless you, my friends. And heaven smile on you is our prayer. God bless you this day. Amen. But most of all, as I close, let's thank God for Jesus. Yes, who died, but he rose again. 
And so because of Jesus, we got him. Amen. We got the Holy Spirit who certainly lives in us. And I realize that greater is he that is in me, in you, is greater than he that is in this world. Amen. So God bless you, saints. Y'all hold on. And keep on trusting. Keep on believing. God will. He'll be right there. Amen. I know we like to say in the nick of time, God was already there. Ain't no nick of time with God. That, that's selling God short. Thinking that God had to make an emergency rescue. God was already there. He was trying to see if you recognize that you can't depend on me. So bless you, saints. At this time, come on, brother, we're going to extend the invitation to discipleship. And we are just grateful to that. Yes, yes.